Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd do something different today and show you my nighttime skincare routine as I'm doing it, though I'm filming this during the day, so I have good lighting. But this is my nighttime skincare routine that I've been doing you know, a few times a week, so I thought I'd talk through it. First, starting off with the Black Sugar Perfect Cleansing Oil. This is a really lightweight, runny cleansing oil. And I had it in my stash for so long, and I don't know why I never pulled it out, but once I did, I have loved it. It's very thin, very runny, but easily breaks down makeup and easily breaks down eye makeup. And then all I need to do is just rinse it off and it emulsifies to a beautiful milk and rinses away. My skin is left very like hydrated, very supple, very soft, but it does do a great job at really getting every last bit of mascara. As you can see, I'm really kind of scrubbing my eyes and moving my fingers along my lashes to kind of remove all of my mascara and it gets off every last bit of makeup. And then I just splash some water, it turns to a gentle milk. Next, I'm gonna be using the Clay de Poe Cleansing Cream Oil. This is a fluffy white cream that I love using as a second cleanse. And it's very hydrating, very moisturizing, very soothing. As you can see, I just kind of like to massage it into the skin, slightly damp skin, and this just helps give me that extra added step of comfort, soothing moisture onto my skin as a second cleanse before I move on to the rest of my routine. And then once I've kind of washed my face with that, I add some water, it emulsifies to a milk, and then I move on to my next step, which is the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. If you followed me for a while, you know these are one of my favorite exfoliating pads. They're very gentle, very lightweight. This is not a strong peel. This is something I can use twice a day. It just gives a light, gentle exfoliation. Nothing too heavy and nothing too irritating. And then following my, I pull it all the way down, even sometimes to my neck. And then following my First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads, I then move on to my mists and my essence. So I'm grabbing my Dermalogica Antioxidant Hydra Mist. To be honest, this is just a regular mist. <laughs> my face when I'm spraying the mist. Is there any attractive, chic way to spray a mist onto your face? No. This is just a regular hydrating mist. You can interchange it with any type of mist that you have. Moving on to the essence step of my routine. This is the La Prairie. Skin Caviar Essence in Lotion. It's one of my favorite high-end essences. This, SK2, and Tatcha are my three favorites. This one especially does works wonders at hydration, really helping my skin stay hydrated, moisturized. It helps to retexturize my skin. My skin looks a lot brighter and more supple when I'm using it. Next, moving on to, I'm starting with an eye serum, and then I'll follow up with an eye cream. This is the Tatcha Luminous Deep Hydration Firming Eye Serum. And it just adds a little bit extra hydration under the eyes. And that, for me, helps with any fine lines, any dryness that I have. More than dark circles, that's not really always my concern. My concern more is hydration and just putting moisture underneath my eyes. Following the serum, I am then using the La Prairie Skin Caviar Luxe Eye Lift Cream. This is very, very rich. Like only a small amount is needed. I normally use my ring finger and just kind of pat it in around the eyes, but I also go on to the eyelid because I like to hydrate that area. And I do find that this eye cream is wonderful at smoothing the eye area. I grabbed my Jade Roller, just showing you guys a little bit how I use it under the eyes. I use the smaller side and I just kind of push the jade roller towards the outer portion of my face in gentle strokes. This helps with puffiness and just helping to really just massage the under eye area. Next, I'm moving on to the Ordinary Lactic Acid Serum. Now this is a exfoliating serum. It is 5%. So 
some people may need to work up to this. I didn't find that I needed to. It really, my skin reacted really well to it. And it just gives a slight peeling and exfoliation to the skin. Next, I'm following that up with my Pestle and Mortar Pure Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This is more of a hydrating serum. It's putting some moisture back into my skin, but more than just moisturizing, it's really helping my skin hold on to moisture. And then I finish both of those serums up with a face oil. This one is very lightweight and easy to wear. This is the Elemis Superfood Facial Oil. Just one or two drops and I like to press it into my skin. As you saw before when I was using my essence, I also like to do the same technique, really just pressing into the skin. This is not a very heavy oil. This is great if you have oily skin, but I also find that it works really well on my dry skin. It helps to soothe, moisturize, hydrate, calm, and just it's a great oil for the nighttime, but I also find that it works beautifully during the day. I am then grabbing my jade roller and doing some jade rolling again. I just wanted you guys to see my technique, just an upward gentle strokes around the contours of the face, especially kind of focusing on the jawline, around the cheeks. I decided just to be crazy tonight and use a neck cream. Typically, I take all of my serums and moisturizers down onto my neck, but during the video, I totally forgot to. So I'm just using a neck cream by Strivectin. Then I'm doing a little bit of a lip scrub. This is the Glam Glow Lip Scrub. It's okay. It's not my favorite, but I'm just kind of using it. I have a bunch of different lip scrubs, and I just kind of like to use them a few nights a week, and then follow up with my Kiehl's Lip Balm. I've been using this lip balm forever. It's just a regular, nice, basic lip balm. Works well under lipsticks, but also for the evening as a treatment and I am ready for bed. So thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.